Hi, it's John Whitehead, and thank you for connecting with me today for my weekly vlog post. I appreciate it. Last week, I talked a little bit about interpersonal communication skills and how we tend to miss each other when we're talking. Um, one person's saying ABC, the other person's hearing XYZ, and we go, what the heck happened there? And I talked about how the first step in improving interpersonal communication skills is actually self-awareness. It's becoming more aware of yourself and how you have a tendency to behave, how you have a tendency to communicate with others. And once you have that down, then you can concentrate on trying to figure out, okay, what is the other person's communication style? What is their preferred way to behave? And by doing that, you are becoming not only more aware of yourself, but you're becoming more aware of others as well. And in the workshops I do on interpersonal communication skills and raising self-awareness, I introduce what's called the platinum rule. Now, I didn't come up with this. It's been by, used by a number of people, but it's, it's, a, it's a concept that's called the platinum rule. Now, most of us, pretty well of us, are aware of the golden rule, which is you treat others how you want to be treated. The platinum rule, though, twists that, and it becomes you treat others how they want to be treated. So rather than thinking, well, okay, this is how I would like to be talked to, you're thinking, well, how would like this person like to be talked to? And once you've figured that out and you, you start working uh, with them uh, in their neighborhood, if you will, in where they like to live. Uh, last week I mentioned about if you figure out somebody likes detail or more analysis, if you communicate with them on that, in that neighborhood, you're more likely to connect. Yes, it takes a little bit of work. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's not necessarily easy. Uh, yes, you may have to be stepping outside your own personal comfort zone to do that. But if you put in the effort and try and figure out, okay, how would that person prefer to be communicated with? And I'm going to work in his or her neighborhood. I think you'll find that that starts reducing the tension. Uh, conflict starts redu to be reduced and you have much better communications. So that's it for this week. Thank you for connecting with me and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you next week. This is John Whitehead. Thank you very much.